Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your headlines. Demolition is set to begin on the Cloverdale overpass that got damaged this summer in a deadly crash on I-84. Drivers need to be aware of some traffic changes on the interstate between the Flying Y and the Eagle Road exit. Starting tonight, all nine eastbound lanes will be closed and two westbound lanes will be shut down until 6 tomorrow morning while ITD crews work on demolishing the bridge. Yeah, when we plan out these demolitions, we try to be as efficient as possible. Uh, really, the, the major impact is to the interstate beneath it. Cloverdale Road's already closed, and so we want to be in and out as quickly as possible. So then on Tuesday night, starting at 10 o'clock, crews will shut down traffic from the Flying Y westbound and two eastbound lanes until Wednesday morning at 7. And ISP will have extra patrols in the area. It's no secret DUIs are a big problem, but for a lot of people, DUIs are a problem with alcohol. But what about opioids? Police are warning getting behind the wheel on opioids and prescription medication can land you with the same consequences as drinking and driving. A corporal with Idaho State Police says driving under the influence of opioids and prescription drugs is an issue of concern for police and becoming more concerning with the growing problem of opioid abuse. Drug influenced DUIs are, are quite quite prevalent and we see them very often um, in the past several years I think it's it's been clear that it the numbers have increased now whether that be because there's more um, people driving that are drug influenced or that our training has gotten better um, in identifying drug impairment could also be a factor. McConnell is a certified drug recognition expert. He assists officers from ISP and other agencies to conduct a DUI investigation when they believe drugs may be the impairing factor or if drugs are mixed with alcohol. He says it's important to remember that just because a doctor prescribed your medicine doesn't mean it won't impair you when you're behind the wheel. The generosity of our community was on full display today as Les Schwab Tire Center's employees were at the Idaho Food Bank dropping off 600 turkeys donated by the public for their annual turkey drive. The drive comes at a perfect time when there's more traffic at their stores because of drivers wanting to get ready for winter driving conditions. It goes until December 22nd. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Well, the snow has come to an end, and oftentimes you get inversions forming. We'll have a bit of one forming. Either way, we'll have some fog and some low clouds trapped in the valley. It was 28 this morning in the valley with some cloud cover that broke out into the sunshine. Now, that clearing weather you saw during the afternoon and evening, that's going to allow the temperatures to plummet. And so we will very quickly, as the sun is going down, you're feeling those temperatures drop, and they won't be long before they drop into the teens in some locations in the valley. The mildest reading might be 20 at the airport in Boise, 34 during Tuesday afternoon. And I think a lot of places, 80 County East, we should see some sunshine, but it's very difficult to tell exactly where low clouds and fog will set up until we start to see a pattern developing. But if you are in the valley and you have snow on the ground, you will have a very cold morning coming up tomorrow. Colder than it was this morning, that's for sure. So some places will have low clouds and break into sunshine. Other places will keep the clouds, maybe in the Western Valley. And throughout the week, those low temperatures could get even colder near 30. Check my Facebook page, let you know exactly what's going on as far as any changes coming in. I've got more details there. Plus, I'll have my ski report as far as how many, uh, how much snow is going to fall in all the different ski areas around Idaho. You can check that out at my Facebook page or go to 6inyourside.com.